How long are you staying? At Hollywood. In Scotland. Are you already planning my departure? Of course not. We've long awaited your return. Kate, we'll show you to your chambers. This way, madam. Lord Bothwell, do you intend to stay as well? I swore an oath to the Queen's mother to protect her. Well, she is well protected here. I'll uphold my oath, just the same. And what reward does your loyalty command? I'm driven by duty, not ambition. <laughs> Madam, your cousin has returned from France. Her protector is Lord Bothwell, an able soldier. So, she comes ready for war. She may well depart once married, but I cannot profess to know her purpose. What says her brother? Murray is only her half-brother, madam. I believe his allegiance is fully with us. What proof? He pledges to protect the Protestant church from Mary. And yet he has no power to make such a pledge if he is no longer regent. The nobles respect him. But can he control her? If she is anything like our queen, then she does not yield to a bridle. <laughs> so says our master of the horse. <laughs> By bridle, do you speak of matrimony? You may tell Scotland that we wish to love the Stuarts as our kin, but they must love us in return. Madam, if I may speak, while she is on this island, she must bow to you, not to Rome. Our Catholics must know that a papist will never again sit on the English throne. What would you suggest? Kill her hope, and hopeless she may return to the comfort of the continent. <laughs> Viant homes securi, me futra muri. Bravo, Rizzio. Is your hand as good as your French? <laughs> my hand, madame. Madame, ma bonne cousine. We are two sisters bound by womanhood. Two princes on the same island. Ruling side by side, we must do so in harmony. And not through a treaty drafted by men lesser than ourselves. I wish us to make a treaty of two queens. I would acknowledge your rightful place on the English throne were you to name me your successor. I hope we might meet in person. That I might embrace you and we might resolve our destinies. What do you see, Bess? Charming. Fair, if the painter does not lie. Young. Clever. Confident. She would have no trouble securing her husband, even without her throne. Nor would you, madam. Forgive me. Elizabeth will not accept my hand in marriage. You cannot be certain. I know because I know her heart. The moment I betray it with ambition, I lose her heart. Would you rather she lose her crown? You exaggerate. How much blood has been spilled in Rome's name? If a Catholic queen bears a child before our own, have no doubt blood will spill again. Muster your courage. Save us from her reticence. She will not produce a child because I counsel fears the Queen of Scots. Aye. Nor will she marry. 
She suspects all suitors of wanting her throne. She will not have me. Nor would I have a common Abbey King, were we not in need of an heir. I have her trust. You have her affections. You can succeed where Good I Good morning, can... William. Madam. Robert. Resplendent. Would you? Secretary of State. John Knox, Church of Scotland. Uh, blue string, yeah. Let us begin. Ask our mistress to beseech Queen Mary that I be allowed to return to this Scotland. This is sir. not the place. It would be wise to have a Catholic servant there. My influence. It is your influence which emboldened papists here. You humiliate yourself, Father. 